Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? Welcome to Hey Bartender. My name is Gustavo Rojas, your personal bartender. And uh, well, you gotta excuse the offer, you guys. I'm back to work. Finally, uh, things have started getting kind of like a back into the normal. And unfortunately, well, I am shooting uh, this video in Halloween. Today is uh, October 31st, and uh, we're gonna have a really cool uh, gathering uh, with the proper social distancing, of course. It's gonna be on the patio outside. And um, well, I'm gonna have to miss it because I have to work. So I would like to give a big shout to every single person of you that works in the industry. Bartenders, waitresses, busboys, dishwashers, cooks, uh, prep cooks, uh, chefs, managers, floor managers, baristas, every single one of you guys that sacrifice these special moments with your family. And uh, instead of going for out for a tricky trick with your family, with your kids, with your wife and have fun, you decide to provide a service to somebody else. So to all of you guys out there, I salute you and thank you so much for what you do guys and uh, well uh, that being said uh, still moving into the fall so today we're gonna have the pomegranate and orange sangria with a little bit of a brandy so this is actually pomegranate sangria and uh, yeah let's get into it and uh, let me show you how it's done thank you everyone <laughs> Very simple, you guys. Uh, this is one of those sangrias that you want to make uh, with a couple, uh, with, with a small period of time, probably. Uh, get ready for your friends to come over to the house, and uh, you're gonna need like approximately three hours. And uh, not because you're gonna take three hours to make it. It's you just need to let uh, the actual ingredients to sink and absorb the flavors of the actual mix. So, what are we gonna use? Well, first of all, we're gonna need a big pitcher. All right. Then we're gonna need some. Uh, red wine, Cabernet Sauvignon, preferably, and uh, obviously, I mean, you don't need to get like a, something really nice and fancy, you just need something dry. Uh, in this case, I'm choosing something from Chile. For all my people, all my Chilean friends, uh, Chile has like a really good Cabernet, uh, but because of the altitude, it's actually pretty dry, and uh, it's gonna be perfect for it. So, we're gonna go for a full bottle, 750 milliliters. Uh, we're gonna go for one cup of brandy. Either you can do brandy or you can do cognac, but I think brandy is gonna be a little bit uh, better in this case. Let's go for one full cup. We're gonna use pomegranate juice, fresh, one cup. Fresh orange juice, of course. One full cup. You're gonna stir a little bit and rectify your sweet. If you want things a little bit more sweet, hey, just get a little bit of a simple syrup. Uh, in this case, I just have a uh, rose simple syrup. This is something that I've been working for the last couple days. For my in my taste, I believe that uh, it needs just a little touch of sweet. So I'm gonna go for an ounce and a half of rose syrup. And the fourth part. We're gonna have one full orange, previously sliced. We're gonna toss them in there. We're gonna grab approximately half of a cup of uh, pomegranate grains. And one cinnamon stick. Put everything in there. We're gonna stir. The recipe also calls for some fresh cranberries. Unfortunately, I could not find anything. Probably, obviously, they are off the season. But we can substitute those with blackberries. Okay, so we're gonna put yeah, like a half of a cup of blackberries on it. Just keep stirring. And the two hours that you guys gonna need. 
is to put this into the refrigerator and let it get all the flavors. So there you have it, you guys. Welcome to November. Happy Halloween for every one of you. Happy Pelisa de los Muertos for everyone that loves to celebrate this day. And uh, hopefully I'm gonna be able to come back tonight and have a couple of these. Thank you everyone, have a good night, stay safe, be safe, have fun.